it's your boy J4Peace back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about something very interesting but before we get into it please like share subscribe turn on notifications about some more content and uh yeah sorry guys I had to take a little two little break but back again and uh yeah if you guys want to join my discord and join my second channel link in the description as well a new video this week so stay tuned anyway let's get into it so today I'm going to ask the question is One Piece Bounty Rush worth playing today right now in 2024 uh i have to say in my opinion it's up to you now let me explain so i know a lot of us have diff have different opinions on the game it at times it can be very enjoyable but at times it can be very frustrating i'm gonna point out all the flaws and the and the cons so let's start out with the cons let's put the, the good stuff first okay <laughs> first of all it's a more piece bounty rush is a 4v4 it's a 4v4 battle game obviously you guys know if you guys like 3d 4v4 battle games this is your pick really good the uh the concept the, the, the concept is amazing um you get to summon your favorite one piece characters you 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 it's it Every, everybody knows it's a gotcha system, so you get you, you you're, you'll be able you're able to summon, you know what I'm saying? You're able to summon on, you know what I'm saying? You're able to summon on stuff, and you get your favorite One Piece characters. There's lots of One Piece characters. Every character has a different move sets, but well, different cool variety of move sets. Pretty cool stuff. Great gameplay as a lot of the characters you want need, you know, Gear Five, Luffy, whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> great 3d animations and everything very creative and stuff that's one thing i cannot uh you can't take away from them is that they're very creative with the characters and they do a, an amazing job the mechanics are good the the setup is nice well the, well the menu setup and everything is nice and yeah now let's get into the flaws so the flaws there's a lot of flaws i ain't gonna lie bro <laughs> I know, I know you. I know you guys are gonna be like, "Yeah, Jeff, please." Now, the reason why I even made this video in the first place, before going to the cons, actually, is because well, sort of flaws, is because there's been a new hacker situation. Now, this is not like, particularly new, because there's been a, it's been a frequent problem for about uh, uh, a few years now, and uh, it, it comes and it goes. But um, yeah, there's a very, very big hacker situation. So that's one of the one of probably the major flaws. Okay, that's first of all you're gonna have to do with hackers. Uh, second of all, this game's it costs a lot of money. Okay, it, it does cost a lot of money. It's it, it's a gotcha game. That's one of the flaws. Number three, um, it's it's not that free to play friendly. I think that's one of the things I should warn you about. It's not that free to play friendly. So if you're looking for a game that's free to play friendly, it's very generous or whatever, this this is not the game for you, bro. Like I'm just telling you right now, this is not free to play. This requires a lot of patience, a lot of self discipline. You know, Bandai they love to promote the banners a lot. You know, they'll lead you to pay for stuff and all that. You know what I'm saying? So it all depends on on you, basically. Um, what I what else can I say? Don't expect Bandai to um buff units or debuff units because i know there's this misconception in the community that um that people are saying oh bandai should buff units bandai should debuff units and they should do that all the time and it's like yeah we, we want them to do that you know but they never do it and then they never do it they do it once in a blue moon and that should be your expectation with bandai they're not gonna be able to they're not gonna they're not gonna want to do that they're not gonna do that okay number five well not number five but another flaw is that we are the minority now what do i mean by we are the minority so if you don't know there's two versions of people are there's the japanese version and then there's the global version the global version gives bandai less money than japan the japanese version gives bandai a lot of money okay but the global version it doesn't make them as much money um yeah that's just a fact okay so if you want Bandai to make demands on stuff and fix certain stuff, they're not gonna really listen to 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 you like that. <clears throat> you understand? 
because ja the Japanese server makes them more money. And at the end of the day, Bandai, Bandai is a business. So whatever makes them the most money, whatever what they want, what they need, where if Japan if Japan wants something done, they're gonna get it done. For us, we're like second, we're like second uh, scenario. That's why there's hackers still in this game. You understand? Um, what else? What else is there? There's a there's a, there's um there's another flaw actually. I, it's not into my head. I think long time when people are players could leave a comment in this in the comment section. It's uh what's it called? It's D not not D rankers. Oh yeah yeah that's another flaw. You have to deal with D rankers. So if you don't know what D rankers are, it's uh basically when you go into league battle. Okay, we have a thing called league battle here. And it's basically p p players who have high character levels. So. Let's say I have a hundred over uh, Gear Five Luffy here, so it's my my Luffy is maxed out, and I decide to purposely lose games because it's a league system, and I downgrade myself all the way to let's say A League. That's one of the things you're gonna have to deal with when you come into the game. You're gonna, but by the time you get to A minus to B B, B A minus, you're gonna notice a lot of D rankers. You're gonna notice a lot of character players who are gonna have a lot. Have maxed out units and stuff who are just trying to bully you. You guys are gonna have to deal with that, sadly. Okay, there's a lot of problems in this game. Okay, <laughs> I know a lot of the flaws overweigh the cons. There's good, there's a lot of good cons, but there's a lot of bad flaws. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, man, that that's about it for, for that. So, in conclusion, is One Piece Bound to Rush worth playing in 2024? It depends on you. That's all I'm going to say. I think it depends on you. Me personally, I, I like the game. I think if you love One Piece, I think you will like it. I think there's a lot of great gameplays and stuff like that. The animations is amazing. If you like all that fan service and stuff, they, they, this game has it. You know, recently we just got um, the new uh, uh, Luffy, um, Ace and Yamato dual unit and stuff. You know, if you guys want to use Prime Garp or whatever, you know, that's it's a great fan service. But if you don't like hackers, you know, once in a blue moon, if you don't like the certain stuff, you know, that's up to you as well. You, you don't have to play this game. And uh, I think overall it depends on you. Me, personally, I like the game. But uh, there's also very understandable of why you wouldn't like it. There's a lot of flaws. And in my opinion, there's a bit more flaws than the cons in this game especially in the global version and yeah you know but uh and even them there might also be connection issues as well the server sometimes there's a lot of server issues so there's that as well but uh anyway that's all there is to it uh what do you guys think uh you guys can share your opinions down below in the comment section and uh yeah and anyway stay blessed stay safe peace and don't worry more content on the way